All right, once again, we do have the two Q&A mics, so if you do have a question, you can line up with those mics. Ask that one question. Tell them your name, where you're from. Great. All right, I got the thumbs up, so you know what that means. It is time to get this panel started. But before I do, I have to introduce your main stage host extraordinaire, our pop-verse host, Ashley Victoria Robinson. And 
even in the first one when we have our... Me too. Yeah. Now, welcome <laughs> to the club. <laughs> but yeah, in our first in our first movie, it was, you know, it, it's, it's dinners with the, you know, it was like dinners with the kids and then like going out with the adult versions. But the, the dynamic and like there's so many similarities that everyone had. Um, but I was like super jazzed up about the, uh, uh, just the casting. But then as far as like doing a superhero movie, it's like... To me, it just felt like a fun family movie with like extra, extra zap. <laughs> extra fun. Interesting zap. Interesting. Grace, what's something that you wish people knew about being in a superhero movie? Oh, oh, I don't know. I mean, it was really hot the whole time. That's just complaining. Um, I had a turtleneck and hair, and it was this heat chamber, and then I would sweat, and they were like. You're sweating and you're a superhero and superheroes don't sweat. And I was like, I'm just a human. I don't know to do this. Um, yeah, it was like 103 degrees or something crazy on that bridge, running back and forth super speed. And so, for you guys to know, when Mary is super speeding, it's just me going da 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 you were wondering. <laughs> And then turning around and going back. Da, 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 da. They turn. They, they cut out the turnaround. They, you know, kind of cut out the da, 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 make it like a little flash. But we would, I have to do that on set. And we would leave Grace hanging from what was it? Remember the bridge, like twenty feet up in the air, and we'd go to lunch, and she would just be hanging. <laughs> we'd go play video games, then we come back, and Grace would still be hanging. <laughs> Superhero yeah. Grace had it, had it rough. You had it probably. Superhero, superhero Grace had it rough. Yeah, but you know, the wires, the harnesses, I was like, this is giving me superpowers. It hurts, but I can fly now, and that's great. So, there you go. Pain to be a superhero, but we smile the whole time. Say it for the microphone. You need pain. <laughs> We don't want to miss any of these nuggets, come on, Jack. <laughs> so shazam -ly, shazam family, that's like a huge term that's thrown around is what this panel is called. So what is the family dynamic of the cast? Who's ill-behaved? Who's the mom? How do you all oh, fill those roles? <laughs> well, there's different groups, right? Because you've got the kids, and then you've got the adults, and the way our movie works is the adult superheroes and the kids are never in the same scene because that would defeat the purpose of them playing the same person. So, um, I mean, I would say in the kid group, Darla's like actually the most mature. Oh, really? Yeah, Faith is so incredibly professional, so on it. I watch her work and I'm like, that was great. <laughs> really good. Yeah. Mom and dad, right there. <laughs> Maybe we all just need our mom and dad in the corner making this too bad. Zach is like what, like fun uncle that shows up, uh, yeah, shows up and like he's like, hey, hey, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna a bunch of sugar? You wanna see a dead body? Let's go. <laughs> he comes in, does, like has a ton of fun, has a bunch of activities, and then like bolts when it's time to. You're not supposed to talk about that stuff. That was supposed body? to no. stay at the barbecue. <laughs> Don't Are talk Cooper, about Cooper's it. Cooper's like. What's a responsible father or He's like kindly like grandfather? Like a wise old like um, I don't <laughs> want to you call. Old? No, it's fine. Like, no, 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 no. Wisdom, archetype. Of, wisdom is old. Archetype. Yeah, yeah. Like wisdom wise. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like some like cool uh, like it's shaman. The essence of old. Yeah. Why? Yeah, but he looks young. That's why it's such like a madhouse of beauty and emotions. I feel. Like, no one so. believes I'm 60, but it's amazing. Who, who would Mama yeah, be? Imagine. Martha. Marta's probably mom. She's our mom. Literally, yeah, who literally the mom and dad there. is in the movie, technically, in the movie and in real life, really are the mom and dad, though. Yeah, Marta was very, uh, she was like, oh, we're gonna do this thing. I'm gonna bring this Jesus, and we're gonna enjoy this meat. That's gonna be fantastic. Everyone's gonna love it. And I'm like, what, do, do, are you, are you going to be there? Yeah, yeah, I'll get, I'll get there, I'll get there. Okay, you're gonna be there early, right? Ah. Where's Cooper? Where's Cooper? Where's the cheese from? Where's Cooper? Oh, I wasn't there, I was on my way, slowly. Mark is from Spain, so everything revolves around uh, charcuterie. cheese platters, charcuterie, meats, wine, uh, schedules for activities where everybody gets together and eats. She gave me cheese from, from her family's yeah. farm. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. The cheese or whatever? Who would be the problem child? Jack, are you the problem child? The problem child? I'm, just, I'm asking, I didn't know, I'm not inferring. 
I got called back for a public trial too, but that's my me You're really 52 old. years old? <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole movie. Yeah, we'll just yeah. say they're a secret 52 year old. <laughs> um, I'd say Asher Angel. I know. Troublemaker. That kid. I'm not really. Oh, you're talking about. Yeah, Asher Angel sucks. Asher, he's not, he, he's not here right now, so. We'll yeah, spill the tea. I don't know how you guys got. They weren't actually on set at the same time. They had to use green screens because they hated each other so much. And you can uh, never tell. That, that, rivalry. Uh, magic filmmaking. Can I tell the. Uh, there's this, this Asher story. It sums, up, it sums up for me, like Jack and Asher, like just this one moment. This isn't the, uh, the first one. I think I know what you're going to say. Yeah, you are, because you did it. But, uh, <laughs> We, they were, they were about to shoot a scene, so Jack and Ash are next to each other, Jack just yeah, picks up know. this glitter, and just... Actually, it was baby powder. It was a baby powder. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was glitter. That'd be funny, I wish it was. Yeah, so baby powder, but anyway, he pretty much like explodes, yeah, it was baby powder, explodes it on Asher, and Asher goes... Yeah, nothing. <laughs> he was so cool, I don't, I think most people would have flipped out, he's just like... He didn't narc, he didn't say how it happened, they just fixed it, and then we moved up. But Jack went, he went, <laughs> like, ran, like, ran away, he just ditched him. The exact opposite of the Billy and Freddy dynamic in a lot of ways. <laughs> I see we have some nice friends lined up, so I'm going to bring you forward to ask your questions. First, tell me your name, where you're from, and then ask your question. Yeah, that's the vendors you for Hello, Sebastian. I'm from here in Miami. Um, my question is that, for most of you, you guys, superheroes, right? Um, how does it feel to have, like, merch or, you know, action figures of, of yourself, right? Or, like, how to see, like, um, a comic book of the character that you're playing? Uh, the coolest. I love it. I have my little Funko Pop with me in my home. <laughs> The two of us, I'm like, hey, and she doesn't say anything because she's a Funko Pop. But I, I love, I love my little, my little Mary. Um, not my little pony, my little Mary. Um, little Mary, it's really right. cool. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> no, 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 please continue. <laughs> I, I mean, it's really awesome. It's really awesome. It's really right. Yeah, I, yeah, I, grew, I grew up a comic, comic book, huge comic book fan. I collected. I had a lot of collectibles. I like, you know, this was I. I started creating stories and wanted to get into this business. I think because of comics and because of action figures that I would play with when I was a kid. So to see a version of that as yourself is super surreal. It's pretty weird, dude. Especially when they start showing you the images of your face as it gets closer to the final production. So they'll send you a picture of your face, like with no. Uh, with, with no eyes on it or anything. It's really kind of freaky. Okay, okay, but then, you got an action figure because of the first one. Yeah. And I didn't. Well, that's because you were pretty super... So pretty much for life. No, but this time right, around, right. this time around, we didn't have action figures. You got action, action figures this time. I had that video with the Wonder Woman action figure in the lair, remember? Well, that's different. I was playing with that action figure. I'm saying I don't have one of me that can kick. No, no. My Funko Pop can't kick. No, but we, we, have, we have other action figures. I don't have one of me. The no. good thing you can do is, one time, uh, for, my, for Christmas for my mother, I got two of my action figures, and I cut the heads off. And then I dipped the heads in like a gold plate, and I put earring hooks on them, and I presented two of my heads to my mother for Christmas, that she could wear. I just want to do that. That sounds that's, that's so awesome. And that's awesome. the best thing you can do with an action figure. <laughs> They made a, uh, they did like an action figurine thing for my Walking Dead character, and they didn't consult me on what that looked like. And so everyone's been bringing it up, like, dude, you know what made a thing of you? I'm like, yeah, let me see it. Cross-eyed. No! <laughs> Cross-eyed. I'm like, it's not right. And I was just like, this is, so for me it sucked. <laughs> but you guys I had a bunch of friends that, that started this competition where they would make little iPhone movies with my action figure and then send it to me, and they got increasingly more uh, impressive, and they were doing more and more mean stuff to me with each film. So I have a collection of, of, of little iPhone movies of my, my, my little dude just getting violated. Where, where can we see the release of these movies? I'll show you, I'll show you some. Some are a little, you know, uh, NC-17 probably. They, I've been lit on fire. 
probably where you got the idea to cut the one head of my off. Friend, one of my friends went to a safari in Africa and literally threw me to the lions. <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's pretty good. That's awesome. You got nice friends. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. What is your name? Where are you from? And what is your question? Hi, I'm Brendan. I'm from here, Miami. Woo! Yeah. Thank you. All right. So my question is, what it would have been like if Shazam fought against Black Adam? He would die. Black Adam would die. He has died. Would be a really short movie. Be a really short movie. Shazam wins. Done. Are you sure? Positive. I mean, there's scripture to back that up. Yeah, but The Rock said no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But also, I would say that if we made the live action movie and The Rock was cast as Black Adam, I'm sure that somewhere there would be a thing where The Rock would be like, uh, I have to win, right? You know that, right? Like, we're, this movie won't come out unless I win. Or it ends in a fist bump, right? Everybody gets along. Yeah, and he's like, oh, actually, Mahalo, bro fist. And then, like, whatever. And then, uh, then that's what Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? And what is your question? Uh, my name is JD. I'm from down here in uh, South Florida. Woo! Good letters, man. Good letters. I like it. Thank you. Uh, I have a quick question in regards to you know everything with uh, Supercon. What exactly would be your dream role? Uh, just character. You know how everything in media. Okay. I don't want to go All first. Right. I know your answer. Would you mean Grace, comics Grace. or just any? Comics, anime, video games, Ooh. you name it. That's tough. Somebody say Hamlet, please. <laughs> oh, Hamlet. <laughs> I remember a lot, I remember a lot. I memorized a lot of, um, it's an echo, it's insane. <laughs> I memorized, uh, like, a bunch of those, um, monologues from Hamlet. Meow. <laughs> you see it? Yeah. That's impressive. Right there. Um, Do it. Yeah. Do it. I don't know your answer. I have a couple. Any directors out here? <laughs> oh, uh, wait, of a, a character that exists, or just a yeah, character? Yeah, any character. Any, 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 any character. You want to be, you want to be a character. I mean, the most fun characters are the ones where you. There's different facets, so you can see me being good. You can see me being bad. You can see me, uh, like, I was just talking about this. Tony, yeah, Tony Soprano. What a. That's a guy that he is the. He is the husband, he is the boyfriend, he is the villain, he is the hero, he is the son, he is the dad, he is this... We see every facet of him, and so it makes a character... The more, the more we put into a character, I want a character that, like, I would be unexpected to think about their next move. I, I, like, I don't want to play anyone predictable, uh, and so it's a very... It, it, but that's always been in my head. Like, even when I started out in the business, it would get so many auditions for bouncer. This is before I was acting, it was like bouncer, security guard, I just never did them. I was like, this is boring, I'm just too, it's, it, it can't be boring. I don't care what the budget, I don't care the funding, it's just what I will do to that. Would make so we're, we're manifesting an HBO lead totally. for you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I would want to do something incredibly verbose, because uh, my character in this film is a man of few words. Uh, I, however, I'm not. Speaking man, the new I, superhero. I, I have a lot of words, so I would like something verbose and monologue and fast. Hamlet! Well, not Hamlet. He's accessiony, quick, sharp, ruthless. I would like that. I would like comic book space. Man. I always wanted to do uh, Matty Roth, DMZ, the original DMZ run. That was one of my favorite. They did a version of it, but that wasn't quite going that way. That was always something I liked. There's, you know the Human Target? It's a DC comic. Yeah, yeah. They're doing a new run now that's like this noir. Yeah, kind of I love it. Noir detective thing where he's like a, he's like a Michael Clayton to the superhero world and he's sick. It's kind of, kind of throwbacky and Ocean's, it feels like Steven Soderbergh, I love Ocean's Eleven. I would love to do something like that. I would love to do that. Um, and then, uh, are you familiar with the old film Cobra? The Sylvester Stallone movie? Need to get on it and watch it. It's, it's an all-time classic. I want to redo that. I want to, I want to, I want to redo that. It's the weirdest. <laughs> Welcome to my brain. Wow. Love this out. Um. Oh gosh. K H. Well, K H. Yeah. Is the character from the movie? Oh, for you. So, K H. Who is that? C H. Am I spelling it? C 
C-H. Chris, wait, C-B, Christian Bale? Think of, a famous, <laughs> think of a famous, a famous actress that you may or may not. Carrie Mulligan? Kira Knightley? No. <laughs> sorry. Classic, classic. Classic? What is this game we're playing? I'm so sorry. I can't answer your, oh, Audrey Hepburn? Audrey, now, I said Kevin. <laughs> Catherine Hepburn, you confused her with Catherine Hepburn. I'm so sorry. I, 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 my dream is to do an Audrey Hepburn biopic because there's so much to do. Um, I don't have one yet. I don't know. She's like, oh, like, I don't know. I don't, can't do that. You gotta wait for the movie. <laughs> yeah, probably her. That would be cool. Um, but then also, gosh, okay, putting this out there because I did the whole stunt thing with Fall. I think it would be so fun to do like Lara Croft stuff because be that'd be fun. That'd be fun. And then I could be like, I have to do research, so I'm gonna play all the games, and it'd be so fun, be a good time. But I don't know, it'd be, it'd be really cool because then I'd be like, let's see how crazy we can go with this these stunts, and I really like. Uh, uh, Angelina Jolie has her like fight sequence where she's going through the air with like silks, like aerial work, and just like punching oh, yeah. guys. The training session. Um, that's so cool. I recently rewatched it and I was like, this is a fun time. Um, okay, and then real quick, comic book nerdy thing. Has it Batman animated series? I've been rewatching it recently. Um, ha Calendar Girl is kind of like I know she kind of was made up for this series, but. I was watching that recently and just thought that was kind of a cool, interesting villain that needs more, you know, filling in for her character. But I like her costume. I think her costume's really fun and her storyline of being this actress who like, just had a lot of self-esteem issues and basically hid her face and everything. I think it's very relevant for the time we live in with social media and the like treatment of women. On social media, not to get dark or heavy about this. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now we're getting chaotic because there's people lined up on both sides. So I'm going to this side. What is your name? Where are you from? And what is your question? Hey! Hi, uh, I'm Sammy. Sammy. I'm from Orlando. Woo! Um, oh wait, sorry. I wrote it down. I wrote down my question. I'm sorry. I okay. Don't be sorry. <laughs> okay, so because. Uh, a superhero movie, there's a lot of effects, right? How much was practical effects and how much was special effects? And was there anything that you did that you were like, I don't know how this is going to look in the final cut. I don't know how they're going to pull this off. That you were like, what? I have that question of how it's going to look and how they're going to pull it off even without CG. <laughs> we're just shooting a scene. I'm like, how's this going to cut? How's it going to edit? Um, but that's, so that's me for every scene. <laughs> you really drove that car, though. Let's just clarify, that was not CGI. Oh, yeah, I got to, Backed yeah. Backed that van up. That, well, the thing is, the, when we did the, we did a lot of this van stuff, and the first, I didn't know I was going to be driving the van on that parking deck. They didn't, you know, I, I'd never driven the van, and it was terrible. And then there, they had this whole thing where it's like, okay, don't hit our camera guy, you're going to have to pull him a little harder. Zach's going to come in from the crane, and then we're going to deliver the line, and it's going to be great. Seven takes. <laughs> I'm a very slow driver. I'm like, no, no, you can speed it up a little, it's fine. So I just <laughs> added like two miles per hour more each time. Was it stick or was it automatic? It was automatic, but man, it would have probably been easier if it was stick, because that thing wouldn't go to second gear. So you're like, mm, and then when it did, <laughs> like this lurch. And then when we're, doing, when we're doing that thing where we're just driving at the end, and I had to like go through all the background. The, the thing is like when you put people around it, then the driving becomes harder. I'm like, I, I don't trust oh, anyone. Absolutely. <laughs> so and then I had all the kids in the back and I was like, uh, the, Their lives the, in your hands. They trusted me so hard with that. I don't, <laughs> and we don't trust Cooper with anything. Don't. Uh, in real life. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> the bridge was nuts. Like on the day it was a back lot and there was, um, uh, like shipping containers, like tractor trailers, just tons of them painted blue, hundreds of them built in this giant uh, U, pretty much, yeah. with all these cables, and we had absolutely, and then we had a lot of strip of cars that were set up, you can see in like, uh, I think DVD extras. Or on David's Instagram. Or on David's it's Instagram, video. yeah, which is amazing, because he walks you through how he does these shots, either the big ones or the small ones, so if you have any interest in filmmaking or effects, 
watching everything that David um, posts on his YouTube, YouTube channel. Yeah. It's great, it's like a film school. Yeah. But I had no idea what that was gonna look like. We were all just kind of running around and then to see the full bridge realized was amazing. And then- Oh, um, and we all filmed our entrances separately. So when everybody lines up in the superhero form, a lot of us were just solo doing it alone. He got to do it with me. You, you and Megan yeah, got to yeah, do yeah, your yeah, entrance yeah. together, and I have a funny video of just the two of them just like Pretending. Megan turning around and DJ going, uh, <laughs> and it's done. great. It's just them. No one else. <laughs> and then they layered it on top of each other and the eye flying in and blah, blah, blah. The, uh, yeah. uh, the, sorry, the, the trailer though also, on the dragon, that trailer they had like these hydraulics in it, so it actually got crushed despite a dragon not being there. Yeah, and then in the, in the yeah. car yard. Yeah. So we did get to see that trailer get smashed and there was glass that flew. So there was kind of a mixture of practical and then, you know, the dragon wasn't practical. Um, but Lucy yeah. Liu had it when I, the day I met Lucy Liu on set. It was like, nice to meet you, DJ Lucy. Okay. She's like, yeah, my she dragon. Had a, she had a giant blue pool noodle. And they were like, <laughs> action, and Lucy just went, and like shook a pool noodle at me. Right. So that was kind of hard to pretend that the pool yes. noodle was a giant bolt of lightning. Yes. <laughs> so I was happy to see them remove the pool noodle because I thought there was a script adjustment. I was worried over. about that. I was like, oh, I didn't imagine the staff to look Something. like a pool noodle, yeah. but comedy, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then the, the uh, it was funny to see um, like Helen and Rachel, they would just hold their hands out and nothing would happen. Those guys are lame. But yeah, <laughs> when you see the you see the movie, the entire you know it's the, the entire city restructures and spins around. So that do you, was really do you want to talk about lame falling through the sky? Oh yeah, that looked great. Was me hanging with a fan and waving my arms around and going ah, <laughs> and I laugh every time I watch that because that that for me was the let me save you. This is. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'm swimming. <laughs> I'm scared, really deep down, because I don't know how this is gonna look. I'm gonna use that. Ah! <laughs> so yeah, that was not practical. That was me just on a soundstage. And then uh, Zach to do the capture in the air. It was just him running at me. He's like a football player size, so he had to run at me and grab me through the air. And a full on, I would go, ugh. <laughs> it was like shoulder in the back, and the behind the scenes photos are great because I'm just breaking inside, <laughs> literally. Well, I think now it's safe to say that what happened in Philadelphia that summer was a national tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still picking up the pieces. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. This side, what's your name, where are you from, and what is your question? First of all, I want to watch the pool noodle cut now. <laughs> so hashtag release the pool noodle cut. It's in the behind the scenes, the DVD extras. So my it's name's Natalie. Noodle. Sorry. <laughs> uh, my name's Natalie, I'm from Lake Worth, Florida. Woo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Shout out Lake Worth, boo! This costume's the best, I just have to say that real fast, I love this. I, I, I like my Natalie Natalie here. Yeah. Yeah. I try to do the like Alan Grant like sunglasses like with my sunglasses and take them off like whoa this is a library whoa <laughs> and um, I did it every take and it's not in there but oh, I'm sorry I love this continue <laughs> thank sorry. you very much um, the, that was kind of along the lines of my question actually is if there was any scene or line that what well, you just couldn't get through it with a straight face or it was difficult or for whatever reason you just kept trying to do it and it kept messing up. I have one. One time, um, I was truck. So, like, the scene that you guys were just talking about, she's falling out of the air, and she lands, and Zach saves her. This is horrible. Well, I'm not gonna tell the whole this story. This was a horrible time for me. For you? <laughs> for you? Because Jack made it his mission to make me laugh on every take. And it is not a funny scene at all. And we're not supposed but it to have happen. we're not supposed to have lines. It really could Why don't you tell it them really tell them your ad lib? I'll tell you my ad lib. So she falls out of the sky, right? And Zach saves her and we're all like, oh my god, Mary, we're so good. You're alive. We're so worried about your life. Your your life is like you almost died. 
And I went up to her and I said, and I said exactly like this. I said, well, at least now you don't have to, or, well, you don't have to think about, or at least you don't have to worry about, or hope what, what it would be like if you, if you had to, if what it would be like if you had to go skydiving. And she <laughs> says something about skydiving. I said it like that. And I, I, was like, I was like, hey, David, do you like that one? And he was like, skydiving? Really? And I was like, yeah, it was dumb, right? And, he's like, and he yeah, got fired from the movie, and it was over. No, that was rough for me. I laughed a lot internally, and it leaked onto my facial expression. I couldn't help the you smile. You can't tell the movie that you're funny, so. It's okay. I look, and I look suffer I'm suffering from did suffering. You, did you have any ad libs cut? Or David is like, no. I don't see. She's <laughs> oh, hey. Which one? College? College. Who's Mary's my favorite never going favorite to college. Too. She's not allowed to visit a college, look at a college, and hear a college. I like that bit a lot. I called Helen, Rachel, and Lucy Destiny's child murderers on a tape. <laughs> and David is like, no, you don't well, talk <laughs> Destiny's child murderers? Right. Why is that not why is that bad? Doesn't, 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 doesn't fit the character. I don't talk. Oh, okay. And he gave the line to someone else. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I got cut. <laughs> it's upon you. I, uh, I added the, the holy moly um, when we got there. I was like, there's no holy moly in this script. So, and there should be. And I figured it was that same scene that took so much with the band. So I'm like, well, they're they're going to take these last ones. I'm just going to throw holy moly in there. Yeah. <laughs> did it make it? Did it make the cut? Yeah. It did? did? When, when is that? When I get out of the van, I go, holy moly. Oh, that's right. I, lo I laugh. Yeah. I laughed. Good. I liked it. Yeah, that's, but that's also why I like the script. It's not like. Holy moly. The, the writing was designed, like, I, I always remember, I didn't, I, I, I don't normally ad-lib or add stuff to it, but uh, even when I read the first one, I, I was like, oh, I get this guy. I, like, I understand, I understood that character so well that there was, just, and having that breath to be allowed to do it too, make up stuff, is always great. Did, did you guys ever get the giggles? You two? Did you? We're too funny to laugh at them. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> our humor is so hard to access. We never laugh. No, the, I think, the, didn't we get the giggles when we were in the library when we were standing around with Steve? I think Steve we were stuff. delirious. We were just in, in, in the smoke. I don't know. We, were, we weren't even conscious. He was laughing, guys. I don't um, know. The giggles happened offset. Well, so probably. much that we would get on set and be like, ugh, oh, hey, you again? Oh. <laughs> the one that stole my sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> I was a I wonder, writer for so long that, like, the. So I'm, I would do comedies and listen, and if I laughed, you're fired. So it's like a, so I, I, I never, I've never busted a take from laughing. I've definitely busted a take you from You laugh sucking, on the side. But I laugh on the side, for sure. I have. I laugh all the time. I just, and I'll be like, that was He's funny. He's happy, we I'm swear. I'm gonna laugh about that later. Yeah, I'm a very happy guy, guys. It's, it was such a happy set. We all got along so, so happy, so well. We really were happy, we, we swear. Were, we were <laughs> laughing the entire, Time is right stuff. in, so, so it's hard to pinpoint one because we were all just goofing off for the entire production. So the whole movie is kind of a every third line is somebody laughing. Thank, Thank you. you. This side, what's your name? Where are you from? And what is your question? Hi, my name's Ben. I'm from Los Angeles. <laughs> yes. Presence. Don't you have something you should be attending to that time? <laughs> but my question is for Cooper, referring back to the boom microphone days. And I want to be an actor at some point, and would you recommend starting in the tech side, holding a boom, and then transitioning into acting? I would, uh, if you guys like doing sound, and you like hearing the... To, to me, sound is the most important part of a movie, because you can have a crappy camera, and you'll still make do, but if that sound sounds like this, then and it's kind of long, and you don't really quite hear it, or it sounds like muffled, and it's just weird, like, that will annoy the hell out of me. But uh, yeah, booming allowed me to watch directors and actors work together. So I was never, I never took a, I never went to class, never learned it anywhere except on set um, and just watching how that works. So if you're able to do that job, if, you know, if you're able to stick your arms up and, you know, for, you know, anywhere between six minutes to two hours straight, Tyler Perry, then you would be, you know, okay. <laughs> Literally two hours straight, I held the boom over my head. I, and that was a, uh, that hurt, but yeah, it definitely helped, but I mean, to me, I just like making, I like making stuff, I like shooting, I like, I like both sides of the camera, um, so yeah, it does help, you know, the more you know about how this is made, the easier your job becomes, so like, when I first started, uh, the technical stuff is what helped me, 
Yeah, you know, so like, hey Cooper, would you mind moving uh, like a foot to your left? Thank you. Just this one inch shift is what they mean. And like just knowing those little differences and stuff is a, that helped me a lot at the, you know, the beginning of it all. So you, maybe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What's your name, where are you from, and what is your question? Um, like, uh, my name is um, Outdoor, and I'm just, com uh, just coming from uh, Palm Beach County. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, this question is just for uh, Cooper. Um, the, uh, one question, um, uh, would like, <laughs> Would like um, both the parents get like Sazam powers? Would, would they? And what would they be? Yeah, would well, they? I was thinking about this when he was like, hey, I want everyone to raise their hands. And I, the reason I always waited at the last second is I really didn't want to raise my hand for that just in case they were like, oh, we're going to give them powers. I was like, no, I didn't ask for this. The, um, I, 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 so I had a background in, I had a background in stunts. That's why I tried getting into it at the beginning, uh, about like a martial arts uh, history. and. Wires suck. So you're talking about flying? I don't want, whatever the character is, he cannot fly. <laughs> whatever the character is, he, he teleports. Were you in a wire when you, that's those cutscenes when they were there? No, it's my yeah. favorite movie scene sucks. in the movie that's not in the movie. Tunnels, like tunnels, digging man, you go underground, no yes. flying, yes. under man. the city. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I want to be the, the your sound effects <laughs> and your theme song. <laughs> <laughs> you're writing the theme song. Don't release that yet. <laughs> yeah, we're still shopping. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Like, um, yeah, and this is, this is a very, very quick question. Is there going to be a SSM 3? I don't know if that's their decision. Quick answer, maybe. <laughs> no. But we have no above our degree. Right? So. No, I swear my life oh. there isn't. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's your life, Goosey. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty, this time, what is your name, where are you from, and what's your question? I'm Samantha, I'm from New Jersey, but I actually live here now. And really Woo! quickly, I told Jack this yesterday, I saw Shazam for my birthday this year. Yeah, you did! Yay! Yeah. You liked it? Yeah, I loved it! <laughs> yeah, and um, I was just wondering, did you guys steal anything from set? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Rachel's heart! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The ring that he wears, I, I didn't steal it, I asked if I could have it. They said, you know, yeah. You asked? <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Did you know? Did I you, swore my life I asked. Did you steal anything? Well, so... <laughs> Should I have to say steal? I think, say steal? I think if it was something that was my feet were in, it's like, yeah. who would want that? So... Did you steal your boots? <laughs> I wish. Those are the best superhero boots no, ever. Yeah. No, but you know, so Robert Pattinson got in trouble for stealing socks on Batman. What? He got he got a little trick because he just kept taking them. You know, he was like free socks. All day. And they, you know, they just replenish what you, you take. <laughs> anyway, um, I took my slippers and I was wearing them when I read that article, and I was like, I didn't get in trouble. But I only stole one pair of slippers, and I stole some Crocs that they had me wear on Those set. Were like I refused. I wanted them. Helen Mirren's slippers because they were pink, but I think she stole them too. <laughs> they would do on-the-fly adjustments. Like we had multiple versions or multiple copies of the suits. And you had a stunt suit with holes, so they could put the wires in. We had a clean one. I stole all of them. <laughs> they're on sale in the back. No, He's a wanted man. <laughs> but they would sometimes even have to make adjustments because the, the thing would, you know, but they would stretch or they would contract based on the temperature or whatever. So uh, the costumes department would come in really quick and they would have to like trim some of the the clothes around. They would have to trim some of the <laughs> some of the material, which I'm told. Did is you not make cheap. a suit out of the little? So there would, be like, suit? there would be like these bracelets of the superhero material, kind of just like laying around. At the end of the day, and some of them may have gone missing, and I may have like gifted them to a couple of family members. That's oh, really like bracelet. Like, yeah, I have a bracelet. I have a, a bracelet. That's, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Where are you from? And what is your question? My name's John. I'm from uh, St. Lucie County. It's about yeah. two hours north of here. Woo! 
Best city in the world. Um, first of all, for Cooper, not all heroes wear capes, my man. Stepdad's always got to step in. Or adoptive fathers. So yes. You're, you're the real hero of the movie, by the way. Fact. Um, and also, I'm going to ask you guys to answer a question about the other side of the fence. Marvel. Um, did any of you guys see Guardians 3? Yes. Yeah, actually. Yes. I like it. I like it. I did because of, like, you know, Oh, but boo. it's a great movie. Yeah, it's, <laughs> really, 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 really it's fantastic. Well. So this, that's going to get to my real point. Are you guys excited for the future of DC with the involvement of James Gunn? Big time. Very yes. much so. Very much. I have so much faith. I mean, I know Peter Safran pretty well. I, James Gunn I met only a handful, it's like twice times. Twice. Two times. And um, he's an awesome guy. And I have, I mean, like, creatively, business-y wise, like they, they got, they know what they're doing. And yeah. uh, I also, I mean, watching, I watched James Gunn's like blueprint video he posted on Instagram of what he's gonna do, his floor plan. And I have, I mean, like, I'm very stoked. I'm also very excited for Blue Beetle. Like, there's yes. a lot of really cool stuff that's in the pipe right now that's really exciting. I got, I got an applause. <laughs> I was like, said that that Green Lantern, uh, the Green Lantern, like, True Detective is how he was describing it. Yes. Uh, cool. So, cool. so I think that one's gonna be cool. Cause I like, I, it's, I want to. I want to watch anything with the superheroes. I want to sort of get over the power part of it. I want to get to the. I want to get to the. Okay, yeah, power is great. You showed them off. Great. What What do you actually do with them? And that's. Yeah. That's what I want to see more of. And, and that's all superhero. That's what's exciting about Gunn for me as a fan because he's so good at subversion. You know, it's like he, he's such a great storyteller. And he's he's really good at like popping the balloon of your expectations and subverting things with like a ton of sharp humor. But I think it takes somebody that's so good at subversion to make the heart of a film actually be the most effective. And I think his films uh, have, have a, an enormous amount of heart to them. And that's not the first thing that people realize that people think of when you think of Guardians because it's so funny and, and sharp and subversive. But I think he. That his master of subver his ma the way he masters subversion is the same reason why his the heart of his films is so effective. So when I see him get a character like Superman, it, it gives me uh, a lot of hope, and I'm really excited because hope. there's an aspect of the character that we haven't <laughs> seen in a minute that I think he's gonna he's really gonna nail better yeah. than anybody has yet. Thank you. What's your name? Where are you from? And what is your question? Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm from Miami, Florida. Woo! Um, Woo! This is not a question. I just want to say you guys are so adorable. I love this movie so much. And I you would think I worked for you guys because I promote this movie. <laughs> to everyone I know. Because I just love it. It's so funny and it's so wholesome. And I just want to say this is my first Supercon. And I came here because of you guys. Oh, thank you. And I think you guys are great. And you can tell Zachary Levi that I'm sad he couldn't come. It's okay. Um, but it's great to see you guys. Um, I've seen you in your respective projects on your own. I love The Walking Dead. You're hilarious in it. I haven't seen you guys in your other projects we yet. Have, we, have, <laughs> we have like you're six great movies. Too. Two um, so, so just thank you for being here thank and you. giving us your time. So oh, thank you. You're so cute, I can't. I know your name, but you can tell me your other name if you Oh, don't tell us your name! Where you're from and what's your question? I'm Garyan. I am from Port Lake, Port St. Lucie, like he is. Woo! And Murray. I, have, I have the question, do y'all, I don't know if you can say this, but do y'all think y'all are going to be in the James Gunn movies? Or if not, would you like to? Really trying to reason would my like way to? <laughs> I'd love to is what I meant to say. Would love to. I would love to as well. Mm -hmm. Love, love to. Yes. I love him. And I, I would be the most excited to. to. <laughs> and I'd love to. <laughs> and I would love to. Would you? I cast you me in your movie. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going for the same role. So. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm gonna so get that role. Get <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love the movie, by the way. I watched it like a week ago. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Where are you from? And what is your question? Hi, my name is Alec. And uh, my question is directed to Cooper Andrews. What's up, man? What's up, Alec? <laughs> um, basically, uh, how did you start off? Uh, mainly in The Walking Dead, uh, because I am a fan and my sister's a fan. I wanted to kind of know how you became into that role. Oh, yeah, um, so a 
AMC, there's this, uh, which is where Walking Dead's on. I did this other show called Honk Catch Fire. It's like an 80s computer tech drama. And great show. Thank you. I had so much fun on that. And there were so many great actors that were doing that. And my character was ending on there. I didn't realize it at the time. And I had done an audition for Walking Dead. And I had just learned this uh, at the rap party. But they remembered the audition. And the, uh, Scott Gimple was like, I just wanted to write a character for you. Um, because of when you're, it was from your slate. When you smile, you make me happy. And when you frown, you scare the shit out of me. And I would like to, I'd like to explore that character. So <laughs> that was, so, so my character is a generally happy guy in The Walking Dead, but then when things go bad, he is, you know, he's lived in like a three thousand pound cave. I think he's stronger than Shazam. I don't know how he held up his game. It's, 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 it's like straight up like it's like chopping. I'll tell you how, holding up a boom mic for two hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a boom, it's like a 3,000 pound boom, but um, yeah. I'm actually a boom mic, that'd be a really cool weapon. It, it would be, yeah, because yeah. I used to, so I took my boom, I used to actually put like a strap on it so it'd be on my back, like a sword. <laughs> and, um, and so I would just be, you know, be on set and do it that way, but it was, you know, you'd extend it, and I love just being far away and everything, but the, well, yeah, Walking Dead, and then staying on The Walking Dead is another thing, that's just like, if you're willing to get dirty, like, you know, you're able to deal with, like, the, the, no matter what, we're gonna get cut, scratched, bruised, something, like, every time I was on that set, it's like, something's gonna happen, I'm gonna get hurt, I'm ready for that, but it was like a summer camp, so, you know, you want to see your kids happy at summer camp, and I was a big kid, and <laughs> Thank you. Literally. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? And what is your question? Hi, my name is Juan. Uh, I'm from Colombia, but uh, now I'm here. Um, okay, so my question was, uh, which characters from DC outside of the Shazam family would you wish that your characters would have like interacted more with? Indiana Jones. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Me and Indy would get along really well, right? I'd be like. Dr. Jones, tell me where to go. And he'd be like, why are you, why, I don't understand how you're here. <laughs> and then they'd just treat me like one of your little buddies, please. <laughs> you can call me Short Round, you can call me Shia LaBeouf, his character's name. Mutt? You can call me Mutt. Yeah, call me Runt, actually. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I'm your son. I'm your son. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the point. Sorry, the real like, question. Do you see characters? What are their DC? <laughs> Characters that are characters in this film would interact with? I mean, like, even if they're not in the movies, like in the comics even, like... Got it. I would, uh, I had this thing where I thought it would be interesting if you took the, the kids from Shazam and you forced them with the cast of Suicide Squad. So you have <laughs> psychopathic murderers forced together with kids who don't know what the hell they're doing and just, like, smash them together. That seemed like it'd be a pretty funny mix. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say something else, but now I just want that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, but that's. Like, sure, they'll be safe. Because we're signing this parental slip. Really. Let's just explore that for a second and think about the Suicide Squad and who's in the Suicide Squad and our characters interacting with the different characters. What do you think, like, oh, that dynamic would be actually with certain characters? Like, like imagine Darla and Harley Quinn. That's what I'm saying. You know, yes. one thing. Let's that's expand more. upon it. Let's go in. Deeper into that, right? Because you were saying what character? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Harley Quinn and Darla would be hilarious. I think they'd have a really good time with Skittles, and Darla would be like glitter, and Harley Quinn would be like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> glitter. And they'd be like, no, no. And it's Constantine. Me going, Please. Constantine would be rad if he drags all the kids to hell, literally. <laughs> That'd be fun. But he's outsmarted by Freddy in the end. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I love the movie a lot. What's your name, where are you from, and what is your question? Um, it's a little tall, but... <laughs> I understand. Uh, my name is Lexi. I'm from Miami. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Uh, I had a question for Jack. Oh, thank God, because you're really cool. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It was put together literally a day ago. Wow. I wasn't wow. going to come to school. Press it. Press it. Press it. Press it. Thank you. Um, the reaction to Gal, in the movie. Uh-huh. Authentic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you know it. On <laughs> <laughs> but in a real life sentence, I'm going to remark with a reply to you. I will say this. <clears throat> it wasn't actually her. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's her. It was a chick who was a really cool chick. She's from Alabama, and she was really nice and really fun, and she was like, I'm going to do my lines. And she did lines like, Gal Gadot. Uh, and I love that too, you know, and she was really cool and I had pretended like she was gonna But I mean, dude, honestly, 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 I'll see anybody in, in a Wonder Woman costume and I'll be like, oh, Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> I, love Wonder Woman. I love all Wonder Womans, no matter what, wherever they're from. If they're from Israel, they're from Alabama. Wonder Woman. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she's so, so nice. <laughs> she's so funny. Great <laughs> bunch of stories. Oh, she likes you more than everyone else. I'm so, so jealous. Many moments on set together. <laughs> together. Oh, awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. What's your name? Where are you from? And what is your question? Hello, my name is Jason Smith, and I'm from Miami. Woo! And I want to ask, who and or what got you into acting? Good question. Cold. I was, yeah, I was, uh, the, well, what got me, like, what, 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 what got me, like, acting, acting, I had this cough, this is what? over 10 years ago, I had this cough, and it just wouldn't go away. I'm not joking, it was just this, like, it was, it was, it was allergies, I guess, but, like, you can't have a boom operator as you're about to, like, <laughs> it's like, I love you. No matter what <laughs> happens. <laughs> no, that's good. Sorry, don't mind me. Keep going, guys. You're great. You know, so no one wanted it. So I, uh, these, you know, this, I had done a play, and then, um, you know, jobs started, like, you know, or, you know, auditions were happening, and then like, that's when Halt came around. And I was like, I have to get this, or I'm not going to have any work. Halt? So, uh, halt and Catch Fire, oh. the, uh, the computer 80s drama. The, um, so that, literally, that cough was what got me, I was like, I have to book this or I'm going to not be working. So that was a little motivation, I guess. <laughs> rent. <laughs> that old devil do it. Yeah. You want rent? No. Let's open pay. up a restaurant in Santa Fe. <laughs> Uh, I, was a I did theater. I did theater a lot. I, I, as far as I can remember, I've always have been like doing characters. Such kind of a worrisome thing, you know? <laughs> Which one's real me? You know? nice. My mom's right there. My mom is my hero. She's over there. She's split. Woo! Woo! Without my mom, I would not have any of this. I wouldn't know any of you beautiful, lovely people. I'd probably be in juvenile delay. I'd probably be in real, like, boy, big boy prison now. No, she would not be a real estate mogul. I'm not a criminal. I just say, I'm just saying, like, I, I, uh, I would have gone crazy because I would have had all these characters that I would have had all this um, instinct and impulse to self express, and I wouldn't have any new word put it. And now I do, and I'm so grateful that I have my, um, you know, my, my trajectory kind of set out for me, and I'm, I'm, I'm just so blessed, I'm so blessed, I'm so grateful every day. And, uh, but how did I get started? I did, I, did, um, I was getting suspended all the time in elementary school, right? And, uh, and then I started, do, I, I was doing karate, and right next to the karate studio, I got my belt cut up a bunch of times in karate, because I was like doing dance moves, I was trying to be, Fosse in, in the dojo. <laughs> and, um, and then next door, though, there was this place called the Adderley School, and I used to look through the window and see all these kids like being loud and expressive and laughing, and everybody was laughing, and I was like, well, they're allowed to do that, like in a school setting? This is insane. And I went in there, I mean, eventually, cut to, like, she was like, I want this boy. My mom couldn't afford it. We had a friend who, uh, by the graces of God, came and uh, paid for my class there, and I got, apparently did well enough that I could, I, I moved into the repertory theater, and then the, uh, you know, they wanted me because I was good, apparently, and, um, but I already knew that. And uh, anyway, yeah, it was awesome. I found my voice. I found my purpose. I found my uh, my purpose, my life, uh, and that was in performing and entertaining. And uh, yeah, I love it. How are you, Grace? Oh, my brother was an actor, Sorry. and I was five years younger, and five years old, uh, actually, and saw him doing what he was doing, and 
as any little sister would, I said to my mom, when's it my turn? And she was like, oh no, you wanna act? Oh gosh, what's happening? What are my children? Um, and so yeah, I started auditioning when I was five and had an ebb and flow with the industry for many years. Um, I feel like I have restarted acting many times in my life. So gotten back into it many times, if you will. I don't think there was a first time necessarily because there's been so many like, oh, I gotta try to go after this again. Well, it's always gonna be a fight. Always. I mean, no matter what. And, and for all you who are aspiring to be an actor or whatever, or self or perform or self-express, you know, like it's never, ever, 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 ever going to be easy. Nothing, nothing worth fighting for is ever easy. Uh, so I, I, even for me and for I guess I, I assume for, for all of us, like it's it's always going to be an uphill battle. If, if there's something you love, then you have to apply passion and you have to be or be, be passionate for about, about it and, and have discipline. Yeah, when you Why stop caring, <laughs> when you stop caring about it, I think that's a slippery slope. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Care, even when it hurts yeah. to care about it. Unless you have rent to make and you know, and, and a cough. And then you need a yeah. baby yeah. luck. You need a like boom mic. And then you're <laughs> we got three and a half. Then, yes, friends. Everybody. That's gonna be our last question. I'm sad to say, but I want us all to take a selfie together so that we can prove that we were here at this time. So if we all move into the middle, that'll make it easier for 